Hey, what up, fam? It's your man Argat coming at you with another episode um, on the road, actually, uh, over here at Why So Golem, uh, doing a feature piece for them for the Free Agent Press. Um, saw a uh, an 11 v 11 hit in the random spin, random midweek spin, and uh, decided, what the hell, I'm gonna do a recap. Uh, so this is gonna be some heavy hitter action from Why So Golem. Uh, 11 v 11, 11 v 10, and uh, 10 v 11. So let's uh, start things off here with <clears throat> the spasmatic uh, four golem gobo. Very nice. Uh, little funneling minion action right here. Free percentage points. It's a beautiful thing. Absolutely love it. Uh, did he miss any opportunities? Yeah, looks like it. Well, no, that one minion can get all of that if it goes the right way. Show enough. Another minion on the other corner. So let's get through this because this is slow. There it goes. All right, so Golem's in here. <clears throat> jump spell down here. Jump spell in here. Is a poison and a skelly for this one? Interesting. Poison and the Skelly both go down here with the Rage. Covering the Queen. All these bowlers just walking right on in. It's such a good job with the funnel. It's awesome. So there's another Rage. The Town Hall is wrecked. Damn. Where'd all those bowlers go? Hold up. What the hell happened? Uh, queen has the ability. Goes ahead and pops that. <clears throat> so that uh, she can take out the Inferno. Knock out a couple more buildings before the eagle locks on and wrecks her face. Um, and then she actually goes down before the eagle polishes her off. Uh, this is why you do free percentage points up front. It's because of the eagle. <sighs> but uh, awesome job, Spasmatic, with 59% on the uh, Town Hall 11 there. Nice work. Excalibur. Very similar looking base. A uh, single quake here on the town hall. Catches the wall piece, uh, weakens the wall, weakens the town hall. It's a good one. We like that trick. Uh, Golem Bowler's Rage this side. Same thing's going to happen over here. So I'm just setting this really super stupid wide funnel. Uh, trying to make sure they avoid this whole like ring around the rosy crap. Um, <clears throat> a little bonus funnel here from these bowlers. So, jump spell down. Still has another golem to send in. Uh, looks like he blew his, blew his load on his spells. Just go get the town hall. That is all. Uh, but the tessels are right next to the town hall. Uh, which might not have been a surprise. So knew that the percentage was there. Got the job done. King on the backside catches a few buildings. Not going to get a whole lot else. And 55% two star. Very nice. Very nice Excalibur. Well done. Darth Vader. Excalibur with the four pack, man. Sweet. Are these anti three town hall elevens? <laughs> Are there their elevens think they're that good? <laughs> okay, free percentage point here. A quake on the town hall again on the wall. Golem bowlers with a rage here. Same thing on this side. Golem bowlers rage. And golem in here. Golem in here. It's redirected by the. Uh, by the Teslas. Drops the Rage spell down. Town Hall's going to go down very, very easily. Hmm. No wall breakers that time. I wonder if they could have put the jump down a little deeper if he'd have had wall breakers. I'm not sure if the camp space would have been worth it. <clears throat> nice job, Excalibur, man. It's beautiful. All right. A 
Let's check this out. 108K with these walls. Unreal. How the hell are you a 108K? These Town Hall 10 Archer Towers. <laughs> I've been doing it all wrong. I need to upgrade the expensive stuff. Anyway, uh, so Golem Bowler's Rage here. Golem Bowler's Rage down here on the south side. Look at a Tesla farm down there by that. That's nasty. But, uh, so wall breakers in here. Uh, beautiful funnel set. Uh, last golems come down here. Jump spell in to get into the town hall compartment. Uh, if the funnel has been set well enough. Should get done pretty well with bowlers throwing rocks out this way. Nope. No such luck. Everything kind of gets pulled away. Some bowlers go into the core. Uh, CC pull comes out with a dragon. <clears throat> Clutch Queen. Maybe not. Nope, Town Hall goes down. Okay. Single Target Inferno. How in the hell... Ugh. The Golem Popping took out a building and got the 50%. Nice job. Great. <laughs> nice job. Nice job, GK. <laughs> Some days it's better to be lucky than good, man. <laughs> Okay, then. My man, Irish Assassin. Actually, so I'm going to start bottom up uh, 11 v 10 and work my way back up to number 4. So, Pharaoh. <sighs> Such a bad base. I run this base as my farm base on my 11, so I know it's a bad base. <laughs> but there's also a lot of bad attackers in multiplayer, so... <laughs> I like this move, though. Haste the balloons in and gets the freaking Inferno Tower. Well, it's a straight shot. It's direct loon pathing in. If there's a defense here or here, that doesn't work. <laughs> Again, I told you, it was a bad base. Um, so, uh, King and the Queen down at the uh, 6 o'clock spot here, taking out the enemy Queen. She's got poison sitting on her. No big deal. Uh, CC pull comes out with the loons. Again, not a big deal. Uh, it's mostly about the queen using her ability and taking out an air defense, hopefully. Uh, it doesn't waste any time, though. Queen locks onto the CC troops. Hound in here, hound in here. Targeted balloons around, just making that beautiful clockwise motion uh, off of the queen kill. <clears throat> haste these balloons through the sweeper another hound in here more targeted balloons fourth fourth hound haste here I'm assuming there's balloons up here nope oh clone in the core beautiful into the uh, backside inferno tower rage pushing it through this is wrecked see the clone is a thing all right uh, still has cloned loons up. Oh, everything's coming back for the expo. <laughs> Expo's busy with the warden, so two of his four hounds are not going to pop. Uh, doesn't matter. He has more than enough balloons left. Uh, and plenty of cleanup pups from the first two hounds. Awesome job, Pharaoh. Way to wreck it. Irish. Golden Bowler Witch. Oh, Mass Miners. Nice, man. Uh, so just setting the edge here, setting the edge here. And the miners are just going to come in like this with the warden. Right up the gut. Yep. See, there they go. Here go to miners. <laughs> and there goes the warden. And just drops the rage. It's the Warden ability as they come up on the first Inferno, approaching a giant bomb. Has a heal spell ready for them. Poison down on the CC troops. Yes. Um, that Witch is causing problems, though. Uh, so second heal here. These miners are busy with Witch skeletons, dude. Witches ruin, or can ruin, minor attacks. 
drops the second heel down here. Kind of kind of on tilt with this one a little bit, it looks like. Um, puts the uh, third heel down, fourth heel down. I had a rage. So, four, uh, yeah, fourth heel. Back in the original spot from the first one. Uh, it's not going to matter. That's the beauty of it all. Uh, both Infernos are down. All he has to do is heal through the bomb tower. Boom. Just like that. And that's GG. Because there's a giant bomb right next to the bomb tower. And now there's nothing left to stop these miners from just massacring the rest of this base. It's an awesome hit Irish on an 89k. Absolutely wrecked it, bro. God, look at all those miners left, man. Basically swag to heal with mass miners. Basically. <laughs> Tim. Oh, the go hobo. That nice. Oh, this is a freaking this is a trophy base. Whatever. Golem in here with the queen behind. Uh, Valk here for a funnel. I like it. Worked. Uh, drops the king and the warden down. They're going to redirect in right up the gut here. In come the bowlers. Jump spell to push into the core with the queen and the inferno. Poison down on the CC troops. Drag triple loon. Enemy queen is toast thanks to the bowlers. Uh, warden ability has been hit. Uh, first Inferno is down. Has a freeze for the backside Inferno with the rest of his hogs. And speaking of hogs, here they come. I mean that counterclockwise motion off of his kill squad. Hogs here. Still hasn't dropped. There's the first heal. <laughs> Love it. Uh, last... No, sorry, not the last pack. Uh, freezes and heals through the Inferno. Last pack of hogs come in here on this Archer Tower at the uh, nine ten or at the ten eleven o'clock spot. And last heal down right here for the hogs. No giant bombs to worry about. All he has to do is power through the king. Jesus, that's a lot of an absolute sounder of swine. Uh, and last defense goes down, and we got hogs on storages, y'all. Um, someone nerfed him. Dude, that was OP. <laughs> nice job, man. God, all those fucking hogs. Crazy. God, dude, you guys just fucking steamrolled them up top, man. Golem Bowler Witch. Golem in here. Witches and Bowlers. There it is. Okay, so Golem in here. Witches and Bowlers. Golem this way with some Witches and Bowlers. Dude. Come on, man. Three Wall Breakers. Six camp space, drop one bowler, bring wall breakers, and then you can drop that jump up here. <laughs> I mean, you got the job done, don't get me wrong. But uh, Warden Ability into the first Inferno. Second jump is down. Uh, so two jumps and a rage have been used at this point. Uh, heal spell goes down. Last jump goes down to get into the Inferno Tower. And maybe that wouldn't have been such a good idea because he would have had to have jumped... More this way to get to the Inferno and then span the whole thing here with one jump. So, that, you know, I ain't mad at you. Um, but again, with this kind of attack, exactly what you want to see here. This line right here, this straight cannon got left behind. Uh, but the Queen's going to come back around for it. It's not going to be a big deal. Uh, she still has her ability. These witches on the flank are in trouble. What? How did you get this done? <laughs> Clutch Queen ability? The Golemites got stuck on the wall, too. Just like a hair too slow to take the jump. Uh, Queen breaks through the wall, though. Tanks through the Archer Tower. Very patient with the ability. Doesn't need to use it. And 
uh, uses it to get through the wall so the golemites can get out in front and start doing some heavy lifting. And that's how this one gets done. It's an awesome job, D-Man. Way to save the raid with nothing but your queen left at the end. Excellent work. Itachi! The hobo. The go hobo. A little shattered hobo action. I like it. Uh, loons. Right here. Uh, get the archer tower. I'm not going to get the mortar, though. That was ambitious, to say the least. Uh, but do their job so that the whizzies can set the funnel here. Archer there, baby dragon there, and a couple of minions out here. Baby dragon here. Look at all those free percentage points, man. That's crazy. That's uh, a beautiful funnel set already. Golem in here. Bowlers in. <clears throat> Royals down, jump spell down, gets him access to the town hall basically. I'm assuming there's a pair of Teslas in here. Uh, CC Paul comes out, uh, pops the Warden ability, heading into the first Inferno Tower. Uh, first Inferno doesn't go down immediately. I think the Queen pulled everything off to the side. Uh, CC Troops still being up though, pulls the Queen around. Yep, there's Teslas and a giant bomb. Shocker. Oh, one Tesla and a giant bomb. There's another pair of Teslas in the town hall compartment. Okay. Uh, and in come the hogs. So, start sending them in right up this way. Oh, single target Inferno. Nice. Uh, drops the heal spell down for the hogs here. Uh, Freeze catches the bomb tower and the Inferno. Uh, sends in some more hogs. And a little early on that free... No, maybe not. Uh, giant bomb goes off. Ow. Uh, needs to get that heal down, though. He's just losing hogs left and right. Finally gets that heal down there. Still has one more left. But I don't know if he's got enough hogs left to get enough mileage out of that heal. Just enough. <laughs> we got hogs on storages, y'all. So awesome job, Itachi. Uh, maybe a little late. Oh my god. <laughs> All those skelly traps in the core. <laughs> oh man, good stuff. I like it. <clears throat> More of the... No, Golem Bowler Witch this time. Nice. So which way did you come at this? Okay. So, funnel troops down the sides here. Jump spell down, gets him into the first Inferno Tower. Jump spell here, gets him into the Town Hall compartment. Everything's just pushing through, keeping this nice even keel across them uh, with the funnel on the outside and the push through the middle. Uh, jump spell out into the back side of the base. Plenty of bowlers doing work. Uh, Warden still at full health, still has a queen ability. Smashed. Get wrecked. <laughs> nice job, Itachi. Jeez. Save some for next time, would you? Alright, and now for the crown jewel. This is Pharaoh, 11 v 11, uh, 108k. <clears throat> Sends in wall breakers, nothing to really mess them up other than this expo. Uh, Royals go down, baby dragon here with just a wizard tower to shoot at it, kind of setting setting the edge, trying to knock out two ADs with just his heroes and some wall breakers. Very ambitious. Uh, I think without the skeleton traps, might have gotten it done. <laughs> um, under heavy fire from the expo and the archer towers, pops the ability takes out the altar, like, just gets drawn away, just a hair too much, but doesn't let it phase him, hound in here, targeted balloons, hound in here, targeted balloons, hound in here, targeted balloons, warden goes in to support the balloons, drops the haste spell here into the wizard tower, 
clone in the core with a rage into the inferno. Zzz. Uh, Last Hound comes in here. Targeted balloons. Still has two haste and a skelly. Hits the warden ability through the middle. It's nice. Uh, more targeted balloons. Backside. Uh, still has another haste spell to burn. And a poison. Oh, look at all these pups, man. Let me get this off of here. There are pups everywhere. Uh, still has cloned balloons up with, you know, only 10 per, with only 15 or 20 percent of the base left. Less defense goes down. We got loons on storages and pups all over the place. Swags the poison on the CC, and Pharaoh brings home the 11 v 11 triple. Awesome, awesome work, Pharaoh. Nicely done. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed the content from Why So Golem while I'm out on the road doing recording for the Free Agent Press. Um, I'll have a whole boatload of info for Why So Golem in the description. So check them out. Take a look. Uh, until next time, though, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm out.